Chronic cough is a type of cough that lasts for a prolonged period, typically defined as eight weeks or longer in adults and four weeks or longer in children. Unlike acute coughs, which often arise from temporary illnesses such as a cold or flu, a chronic cough can be a symptom of various underlying issues. This video breaks down the causes, symptoms, and potential treatment methods for a chronic cough, providing a comprehensive overview of this unwanted health issue. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A chronic cough can stem from a variety of underlying conditions, reflecting the complexity and interconnection of the respiratory and related systems in the body. It is often a symptom of persistent issues, such as asthma, where inflammation and sensitivity lead to frequent coughing, or gastroesophageal reflux disease, in which stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, irritating the throat and airways. Smoking is another common culprit, causing irritation and damage to the respiratory tract that can persist long after cessation. Postnasal drip, where excess mucus from the nose drips down into the throat, can also trigger a chronic cough as can conditions like chronic bronchitis, a form of COPD characterized by inflamed and narrowed airways. In some instances, a chronic cough may indicate more serious conditions, such as lung infections, lung cancer, or heart failure, where the cough serves as a significant warning sign. The precise cause can be elusive and may require thorough investigation by healthcare professionals to identify and treat effectively. The hallmark sign of a chronic cough is its persistence, lasting eight weeks or longer in adults and four weeks in children. Beyond its duration, the symptoms accompanying a chronic cough can vary widely, often providing clues to its underlying cause. For instance, a chronic cough may be dry or produce mucus, and it may worsen at night, impacting sleep quality. Individuals with a cough related to asthma might experience associated symptoms such as wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. In cases where gastroesophageal reflux disease is the culprit, Symptoms can include heartburn, chest pain, and a sour taste in the mouth, especially after eating or lying down. Postnasal drip often leads to a sensation of mucus trickling down the back of the throat, which can cause frequent throat clearing, a sore throat, and sometimes hoarseness. When a chronic cough is caused by more serious conditions like lung cancer or heart failure, it may be accompanied by significant weight loss, unexplained fatigue, swelling in the legs, or a change in the cough's character. These varied symptoms underscore the complexity of diagnosing a chronic cough as they reflect the diverse range of potential underlying conditions. Diagnosing a chronic cough involves a comprehensive approach that starts with a detailed medical history and physical examination. While obtaining the history, healthcare providers inquire about the cough's duration, nature, whether it's dry or productive, and associated symptoms, as well as any known health conditions, smoking history, or exposure to environmental irritants. The physical exam helps identify any obvious signs of respiratory distress or underlying disease. Based on these initial findings, further diagnostic tests may be ordered to pinpoint the cause. These can include chest x-rays or CT scans to visualize the lungs and airways, pulmonary function tests to assess lung capacity and airflow, and laboratory tests to look for signs of infection or inflammation. For costs thought to be related to GERD, an upper endoscopy or pH monitoring might be used to examine the esophagus for signs of acid damage. In cases where asthma or allergies are suspected, skin or blood tests for specific allergens along with spirometry to test lung function may be conducted. Sometimes a trial treatment, such as using asthma medications or acid-suppressing drugs, is part of the diagnostic process, providing clues based on the cough's response to the treatment. This multidisciplinary approach ensures a thorough investigation into the chronic cough's cause, enabling targeted treatment to alleviate the symptom. The treatment of a chronic cough is primarily focused on addressing its underlying cause, which can vary widely among individuals. When the cough is due to asthma, inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators may be prescribed to reduce inflammation and open the airways. In cases of gastroesophageal reflux disease, lifestyle modifications such as dietary changes, weight loss, and avoiding lying down after meals in conjunction with acid-suppressing medications can significantly alleviate symptoms. For those with chronic bronchitis or other forms of COPD, quitting smoking is crucial, along with medications to dilate the airways and reduce inflammation. When postnasal drip is identified as the cause, Treatment might include decongestants, antihistamines, or nasal corticosteroids to reduce mucus production and inflammation. In more severe scenarios, such as lung cancer or heart failure, 
Treatment may involve a more complex regimen including surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or medications to manage heart function tailored to the specific condition and its progression. Remember that addressing environmental factors such as exposures to irritants or allergens plays a critical role in managing a chronic cough. The approach is often multidisciplinary, requiring collaboration among healthcare providers to effectively treat the cough and improve the patient's quality of life. Home remedies can be supportive in managing the discomfort and severity of a chronic cough, though they should complement rather than replace medical treatments advised for underlying causes. First and foremost, hydration is key. Drinking plenty of fluids can thin mucus, making it easier to expel and soothing irritated throat tissues. Warm teas, particularly those with honey and lemon, can offer relief for moisturizing the throat and providing a mild antibacterial effect. Honey, in particular, has been recognized for its cough-suppressing properties, though it should not be given to children under one year old due to the risk of botulism. Steam inhalation or using a humidifier adds moisture to the air, helping to loosen mucus in the airways and relieve congestion. Staying in a well-ventilated environment free from smoke, dust, and other irritants can also reduce cough severity. For some, gargling with salt water can ease throat irritation. Moreover, maintaining a healthy diet and avoiding foods that trigger acid reflux if GERD is a factor can be beneficial. Simple lifestyle adjustments like elevating the head while sleeping to prevent postnasal drip and acid reflux during the night can also make a significant difference. These home remedies, when used alongside any medical treatments, can help manage symptoms and provide comfort, but it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan tailored to the specific cause of the chronic cough. And keep in mind that you should consider seeing a doctor for a chronic cough if it has persisted for more than eight weeks. Additionally, seek medical attention if your cough is accompanied by symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, coughing up blood, or significant weight loss. These signs could indicate a more serious underlying condition. It's also important to consult a healthcare professional if your cough worsens over time or if you notice changes in the pattern of your cough. Getting a proper diagnosis and treatment plan is essential for managing the condition effectively and preventing possible complications. But as you can see, chronic cough is a persistent condition that warrants attention due to its potential underlying causes and impact on your quality of life. By addressing its root sources through thorough diagnosis and management, healthcare professionals and patients can work towards relieving this chronic and sometimes debilitating symptom. Which is why a no-nonsense approach to understanding and addressing a chronic cough is crucial for those seeking relief from its enduring and often frustrating presence. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.